charge back back His genius sisters use him like a lab rat And all freaked out at home a super busy mom What if the boy's best friend is a talking dog Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark Mega action game control is skating in the park A feral booster bling bling What do we make of this? Johnny and Dookie will need perfect concentration to win gold for the Mixed Species Street Luge World Championship. They round the hydrant. They pop the planter. And they see Gil tenderly holding Susan and Mary's hands. What? Wait, what? Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Sisters. Hey, Gil. If that's who you really are. Oh, hey, Johnny. Didn't see ya. Only a vice for Susan and Mary. Oh, Gil. Huh? Go away, Johnny. Not till Dookie and I get some answers. It's Hologram Gil. Robot Gil. Evil Twin Gil from an Evil Twin Universe? Would you bodacious babes want to see me apply bodacious body lotion? Seriously. What did you do to him? Will you go away if we tell you? Throw in a week of math homework and you've got a deal. We made an attitude alternator. It reverses the neurological synapses on the cognitive side of the brain, altering the subject's decision-making process. Can I get an English to Johnny translation? It makes people do the opposite of what they'd normally do. Just a harmless neurological adjustment to make Gil go from ignoring us to adoring us. And now that you know, get lost! Too bad the girls wouldn't let us borrow that thing. Why? So Gil would rub lotion for you, too? No, because I had to borrow it on my own. <laughs> Whoa. Teenage girls doing remote control brain surgery is one thing, but you having it just scares me. Hey! Get that mud away from my store! I hate dogs! <laughs> hey, you fella! How about a nice, juicy steak? Uh, On the house! I love dogs. <laughs> Sorry, Dookie. What were you just saying? Doggy eating now. <laughs> Doggy loves steak. Snack! <laughs> way! <laughs> Enjoy those free video games, boys. Better free! Best invention ever! <laughs> Johnny! I've got to create an important presentation for work, so I would appreciate some quiet. Johnny! I found your dirty clothes in the hallway. Hey, you told me not to leave my clothes on the floor in my room. Johnny! I cannot work with all this noise! <laughs> Johnny! I'd yell at you more, but whispering makes it sound ridiculous. Man, are they on edge. I bet they'd feel better after a little adjusting. I'd feel better if you didn't mess with your parents. Come on, look how unhappy they are. I just played this floor! What does it take to get some quiet so I can work? Is that Slimebot Slugfest 4? Awesome! Dad, Mom just made a mess on the floor. Messes? Why not messes? Dad, Mom, I gotta say, I like your new attitudes. Best invention ever! Crashed us again, Mom. We can't level up if we're dead. You're so serious. Relax. Video games should be fun. <laughs> again. Blech. The stink factor's getting a little high in here. Hey, Dad, the trash in the... Yeah. Johnny, you and the Dukester are just in time for my meatloaf parfaits. Uh, so good, you can't keep the flies away. I think that's a sign to clean up. Clean? <laughs> well, clean! Just gonna get dirty again.
Hello? It's your mom's boss. Uh. <clears throat> yes, this is Mr. Test. Mrs. Test can't come to the phone right now. Then where's her presentation? Well, it's uh, almost done. Almost? You tell her I'm coming over right now. And the presentation better be finished or else she's fired! Well, that sounded bad. Hmm. That's also not a great sound. I'm just thinking. Still waiting for something that sounds good. So this makes people do the opposite. If we zap them again, they'll go opposite again, making them go from crazy to normal. Ha! Huh. There's a strange logic to that, but your logic has a less than stellar track record. So, I'm giving this back to your sisters. Or not. And two! Gimme! Let go! Come on! You let go! No, you let go! Hey. I love the way you girls talk science. It makes me want to embrace thou so. Hold me so close that I may enjoy thou so much our eyeballs pop out. Too much kill! You forgot your parfait! Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Feeling okay? How do you think I feel? I leave you alone for two minutes and look at this place! <sighs> Garbage on only one side of the room? No dirty socks anywhere! Johnny, do you think I don't have anything better to do than filth up after you? It's gonna take me all day to trash this place! Didn't see that coming. Where's Mom? Do you wanna fight it? I'm okay! Gonna do any more thinking? This isn't so bad. And it'll probably wear off soon. A minute now. Help, Inspector. Those are your pigs. What pigs? Oh, those pigs. I'm gonna have to cite you for unlicensed farming, violating the maximum height for a pile of garbage, that rare hair disorder, and I'm condemning the house. Have a nice day. Not dirty enough. Just not dirty enough. Geronimunga, again! <laughs> well, look on the bright side. Maybe we'll get evicted before your mom's boss gets here. Hide us! Come back, fair dudettes. Let me hold thee for all of eternity and have our three hearts burst. Uh, huh? Tis destiny. No! No! Wherever thy brains and beauty go, they cannot escape mine hugs nor mine heaviest breath. <sighs> Borrowed your attitude, alternator? Johnny! Look, there's plenty of blame we can all lay on Johnny, but now would be a good time for you girls to show us the reverse of this thing! Uh, uh, there's no reverse. <laughs> Who knew we'd ever want to change Hill back to not noticing us? Hey. All we have to do is figure a way to return the brain synapses to their normal state. Uh, can you do it fast? We're at a bit of a time crunch. Hey, your mom's boss is on his way over here. He wants to see her presentation or she's fired, and if she's fired, we'll be thrown on the street. If we're thrown out on the street, we'll be forced to live in Dad's garbage igloo. What igloo? <laughs> Hi, kids. <laughs> what presentation? <laughs> Create an entirely new image for her company? Okay, here's the plan. Mary, you work on reversing brain synapses. I'll finish Mom's multi-million dollar presentation. You and Dookie clean the house. Oh, well, why do we always get the hard job? Hmm, let me think. Maybe because you caused this mess? Right. Okay, the house is clean inside. Now to start cleaning up the mess out here. Mm -hmm. ah, we can't compete with heavy machinery! So we get it to work for us. Great job, Dad. The yard is disgusting. Thanks, son. It's good to know my hard work is appreciated. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking about the rats. The rats? Poor little guys. Had to leave their home at the city dump because we took their garbage. I, I never thought of it like that. Dad, let's give till it hurts and donate our yard full of trash to our animal friends at the dump. <laughs> You're a good boy, Johnny. <laughs> we'll do it! Well, the yard is looking pretty good. Yo, your mom's boss is here. On it. Here it is, Mr. Mogul. Mom's new image for Incorporcorp. That's it? The logo? I had to come all the way out here to see that? Boring snoring. Where's the fun? Lila, the 
explain yourself. Mogul, you need to stop all this work, work, work and just play! Yay! Play? You mean the customers should think of us as the company that plays? Yeah, that's totally what Mom means. <laughs> oh, gotcha! Miss Stuffiness, notify the board that from now on, Incorporcorp is the company that plays! Oh, and put Lila down for a raise! Yeah. Stop! I've been waiting all my life for you! I reversed the alternator! Come back! Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, girls I've never seen before. Guess I'm going to a toga party. Letters! <sighs> What happened? Don't you know? Your boss was here, and he loved your presentation. He did? I don't even remember finishing it. Johnny, how many times do I have to tell you not to leave the peanut butter on the counter? <laughs> we can explain. Johnny! I mean, right? Yeah, thanks to the new RoboVac mom gotcha. RoboVac ready. Oh, okay then. Hold tight, riders. We're about to clean the stack. <laughs> Girls, stop! Stop wrecking the lab! We're not. We're testing our new ultimate simulation room. This is an experiment gone wrong, but now we can test any experiment in any environment. So now we can test our tests before we test them. Oh, so nothing needs to be cleaned? No. Okay, then. I'll have your lunch ready in a sec, dear. Already taken care of. Thanks to the girl's new Meat Master 2000. Bon Appa Meat. It makes fresh meatloaf in a snap. Now, where is my cell phone? Ball at the meat. Mmm, not bad. Hi, Dad! Hi, Dad! Johnny, big game is coming up. What do you say I show you my patented screwy screwball pitch? No thanks, Dad. RoboVac's been coaching me. <laughs> Give me two laps, sport. Oh, nice work, son. I guess all my chores are done. Honey, I'm starting to feel a little unneeded around the house. Aw, sweetie, I'd stay and listen, but they need me at work pronto. Your job needs you, huh? Oh, that's it! I'll go get a job! Hey, Dad, what's with the suit? I'm off to get a job! Whoa. Really? Seriously? Are dads even allowed to work? They are! Especially since this dad will be needed at a job. Unlike at home, where his self-sufficient family no longer does. Wish me luck, kids! I'm getting a job! Oh, oh, poor dad. How do I get a job? Relax, Dad. We know lots of people that can help. Your extensive cleaning background will make you the ultimate spy in charge of cleaning collateral damage after our weapons tests. You're hired! Wow! Just call me Agent Clean, General. Oh, speaking of clean, let me start by tidying things up here. Oh, uh, no, wait, no, that's the missile! I think I need to take a sick day. And that's why I'd be the ideal addition to your team. Excellent. I see you have a history of thwarting Johnny Test. We're looking for people with that kind of experience. Welcome aboard, Mr. Test. Thanks, Mr. Vegan. And here's a happy to join the team meatloaf. <laughs> meatloaf? Prepare to be annihilated, meat eater. <laughs> Your 2.30 is here. Send him in. Hey, Dark Vegan. Hey, Johnny Test. Prepare to be destroyed. So does this mean I don't get the job? Um, we're moving in a different direction. <sighs> what do you mean I don't have good references? I'm your husband! We have a policy of not mixing business and personal lives. Good day. <gasps> what time's dinner, honey? Meat Master says seven. <laughs> Johnny, put some lead in it. Feel the fire. Give me the thunder. Fire! What? No. You're vacuuming too hard. That was so a strike. Hey, Dad. 
Hey, Johnny, if anyone needs me, which they never do, I'll be in the house being useless. Remember to take off your shoes. <sighs> Looks like your dad struck out at getting a job. Which means we have to help him, and I've got just the plan. To the lab! I predict this will go badly and somehow put me in mortal danger. Totally. But relax, you've got nine lives. You're thinking of cats. There's no time for thinking. We've got to help Dad! So you want us to create a fake office so you can give Dad a job? Think you can handle that? Of course we can. Hello! Geniuses, behold! Our new simulation room, where we can create anything. Like an office for Dad to work. And it's all controlled from here. <laughs> awesome! All right, Dad, welcome to Work You Go Incorporated. Do you feel like you're not needed at home and are looking for a job but no one will hire you? Yes. Do you have a passion for cleaning and a talent for meatloaf? Yes. Is your name Hugh Test? Yes! Then come work for Work You Go Inc. Just look for the building that's not fake and doesn't have tubes that take you to a lab. Apply now. Woohoo! I'm getting the job. <laughs> I'm getting the job. I'm getting the job. Hello? Hello? Welcome aboard, Hugh. First, we'll need a business report on Meatloaf right away. Yes, sir, Mr. Bossman. I'm on it. We've been looking for someone like you, so keep up the good work. Oh, this is so going on my acting reel. Excellent. The simulation is working perfectly. Which means Dad is happy and we are awesome. Yeah. And I get to help Dad feel useful and play video games. This is the best plan ever. <laughs> Here's the meatloaf report, sir. I also took the liberty of preparing several samples. Great work, Tess. <laughs> so then the guy says, if that's meatloaf, then where's your wife? Full out of meat. Uh, meatloaf again, meat master? Good morning, girls. Uh, Dad. Can you please make us? Can't. Need to go to work. I've been promoted to the head of the meat and loaf department. Hey, Dad, can you help me with my pitch? Robovac's kind of a harsh coach. Ow! I am the ball. I would, son, but I have my donut weekly today. Hugh, Dookie has fleas. <laughs> Robovac can handle it. <laughs> Let's go, cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can, kids. He's found his cubicle kingdom. It's hard to leave that useful feeling. Wait, that's it. Dad went to work to feel useful. So all we have to do is show him how much we need him. Sounds like we need to create a little anarchy only Dad can fix. Kids, it's time to make a mess. Destroy, destroy, must make mess, destroy. To the meat master should do the trick. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> this ought to put a stop to things. Uh oh. Okay, maybe we overdid it. You think? Oh. 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 This better be about donuts. Dad, you've got to get home quick. The house is a mess. We're under attack. And do you like? I'm going to drown in a toilet. I'm on my way. My family's in trouble. Terry, cancel my co-worker small talk. I'm going home. This looks like a job for Super Stay at Home Dad. Meat creations. No one messes with my family. Special glaze. Mm, honey mustard. Dad. Plunger attack. Go, Dad. Intro. 
destroy, destroy, must make this destroy, destroy, destroy. Oops, my bad. Bling, 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 My hero. Sorry, Meat Monster. Nice pitch, Dad. Super stay at home, Dad, man! Away! <laughs> wow, Dad. I had no idea you were so hardcore. That's my job, son. Listen, Dad, about your job. Yeah, I know. I've got to get back to the office. Aww. To tell them I quit. <laughs> After all, I've got the best job in the world right here, taking care of my family. We love you, Dad. Oh, I love you, too. And you kids are grounded for two weeks for trying to trick me with a fake office. What? You knew? Well, you have to get up pretty early to pull one over on Super Stay at Home Dad Man. Yeah, the name could use a little work. <laughs> <laughs> A talking dog. Three stream jeans in an air breathing shark. Mega action game control is skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. This is the life of a boy named Johnny Test. Good salsa. It's the Red Gush Loopy Flow. The only air show where you can see pigs fly. And crash. Ah! If you think it can fly, you gotta try the Floopy Flow. Today only. Loopy Flog, here we come. We are so gonna win this thing. Johnny Test, you are cleared for takeoff. <gasps> huh? Clearance. Dino! Say what? You've just been grounded, son. Anytime you test kids go out adventure together, Pork Belly is paralyzed with peril. Well, please, name one time. There was the time you played paintball with real weaponic splurt guns. <laughs> <laughs> All right, name one more time. The time you all played Johnny Ball in the park. Oh, no! understand the rules to that one. <clears throat> In order to preservify the safety of Pork Belly, I am hereby confining you all to house arrest. But the floopy flog! We were gonna test our new flying robot at Pinata! And I was gonna crash it! Johnny! What? How else could I get to the candy inside? Flying and crashing is a big negativo! Agents black and white, lock them in the house till that floofy, floggy thing is over. Are you sure, boss? Rumor is there's candy in that giant pinata. Not one tiny foot outside the house, under any circumstance. But what if that circumstance was a giant robot filled with candy? You two rather clean the latrines? Uh, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Arrest. I guess it could be worse. Great! You're all home! I got a new recipe. Anyone want to help? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm good. good. Uh -uh. Okay, banana nut loaf it is. We can't take this line down. <sighs> I can't. 
Now that you're trapped in the house, I'm free to nap, knowing I won't have to warn you not to do something ridiculously dangerous. If we can't leave the house to go to the floopy fog, we'll have to take the house with us. And I spoke too soon. What a bum mission. We should be guarding something important, like pinata candy. Well, technically we are guarding pinata candy. Besides, it's not like the kids will find some super genius way to use house arrest to their advantage. <sighs> if we could only put our keen sense of observation to good use. with an instantaneous airship building mode. Hey, kids. Anyone else feel funny? Like we're floating? No, no, no not at all. Rest but... your imagination, Dad. Guess this new recipe has me light on my feet. <laughs> oh, the power of loaf. <sighs> floating is boring. Where's the speed? Where's the awesome? I don't like where this is going. Houses weren't meant to fly, and neither were dogs! <laughs> Yeah, there's gotta be an awesome button on this thing somewhere. Like we'd ever put an awesome button on it. Here it is! My bad. It was a last second addition! but I just can't put my finger on it. Port Billy's under attack from above! Deploy forces! Now! It's getting awesome! You guys look suspiciously hungry for banana nut loaf! No, 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 I'll be cowering in the bathtub. Ah! Missiles locked in on a house? Hey, that looks like Johnny's house. Ah, so that's where it went. Oh. Fire deadly missiles at will! We can't fire deadly missiles at our friends. Okay, then fire the safety missiles! You, which one's the hide from super fast scary missile button? Ah! Let's go! Oi, which one's the hide from super fast? Jack! Ah, oh, crud. Thanks for saving us, Johnny. And thanks for not holding a grudge about the whole missile thing. You're talking like a munchkin. Oh, no. We've turned into munchkins! Calm down. You're not munchkins. We're just leaking helium. We're leaking helium! <laughs> You do owe us for the whole shooting missiles at us thing. My nose itches. Can you scratch it? No! Oh, if you want something done right, you gotta shoot it yourself! Hello, 
passengers, this is your captain speaking. If you look off to your left... The Poopy Plug! We made it! I gotta destroy them before they destroy the town! Fire missiles! I have no business flying this thing. He's heading straight for us! can find one, but Dad's got to make the biggest loaf the world has ever seen. <sighs> I've waited my whole life for you to say that. Dinner's ready. They're on the up and up. But it's all right, General. Have a piece of candy. Mm. I'm a sucker for suckers. Now, how do we get the house home? We're gonna need a bigger loaf. Sissy, sissy, sissy. Right here, Mr. Teacher Man. Oh, there you are. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Sorry I'm late, Mr. Teach Man. <laughs> I was trying to think up an excuse for being late, but yeah, I got nothing. Well, normally I'd say at least you try. But this is one tardiness too many. There's no excuse that could have saved you this time, Johnny. Really? So if aliens landed and started finding ninjas on your lawn and only I could stop them from smashing your flowers, that wouldn't be a good excuse? Of course not. Everyone knows there's no such thing as ninjas. Now go to the principal's office. All right, fine. But don't call me when your flowers get kung fu <laughs> I like you, Johnny. But if everyone was late like you, we wouldn't have any school. Cool. No, not cool. Because now I've got to give you detention. Detention? But it's not my fault. The halls are insane. I can barely move. Never mind making it in time to be bored by class. Give me a B! Give me an O! Come on, move it! Come on, move it, move it! Some of us have places to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on! That gets you to deliver pizzas. If you want me to get to class on time, you've got to fix the problem. You're absolutely right, Johnny. Yeah. Which is why I'm making you the new hall monitor. No <laughs> way. That's lame. It comes with this badge. <sighs> Toss in some mirrored sunglasses, and I'm in. to introduce this school to Johnny Law. Stop! In the name of... Oh, I'm gonna need backup. <laughs> You're the hall monitor? Oh, the 
irony. That's like putting me in charge of the meat fridge. <laughs> Say, that's a good idea. No way. This badge is about justice, honor, and more justice. I'm here to bust violators. So, let me get this straight. You're just doing this for the satisfaction of helping your fellow man. You've got it, dog. And I'm gonna clean up this town. And don't you mean hall? Hall. Town. Intergalactic Space Depository. It's all the same when you're busting bad guys. Stop in the name of Johnny! Huh? <laughs> Who the heck are you? Tell the principal Johnny sent you. <laughs> Tell the principal Johnny sent you. Keep it moving, Chauncey. Watch where you put that gum, Fred. No nitting in the halls, Ida. <laughs> Officer Test, you're my hero. La, 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 la. I never thought you could pull it off, but you proved me wrong, Johnny. Good for you. Just doing my job, sir. Now move along. You're slow in traffic. <laughs> well, I suppose nothing's perfect. It will be on my watch. I appreciate your can-do attitude, Johnny, but no one's ever been able to catch the speedster. No one. Until now. With this badge and these glasses, I'm unstoppable. You sure you don't want to quit while you're ahead? You don't even know who the speedster is. I know how I can find out. Oh! Want to stop by the nurse's office on the way? Yes, please. Um, is this hall pass guaranteed? It's guaranteed to make me mad if you don't buy it. Party's over, Bumper. I need some information. Why should I help you test? Because if you don't, I'm taking you down. Down where? To the big house, the clink, the slammer, the pokey. The hokey pokey? No, he means detention. But you help us out, maybe we forget all this. No way! I'm no snitch! All right, detention it is. Pad of hall pass. What's that gonna get him? Looking at five days for the pads. Ten for signing as the principal. What's that add up to, Bumper? No! <laughs> Don't make me do math! Anything but math! Then tell me who the speedster is. There's Sissy! Yes! Who's gonna be late for class now, Sissy? You are. Uh huh. That's right. And Sissy. Who's he talking to? I'm pretty sure he's lost it. This bust is gonna make me a legend. I'll be put in the Hall Monitor Hall of Monitors. Yeah. Look, I'm sure everyone will be happy you caught her, but don't you think you should just tell the principal it's Sissy? No way! This is my collar, dog. <gasps> Hey, Sissy! Or should I say, Speedster! <laughs> Busted! Tell the principal Johnny sent you. Please, you can't bust what you can't catch, Tess. Wow, that pump really works. Get back here, Sissy! Slow down! Stop in the name of Johnny! <laughs> I'm losing her. Dookie, where's my eye in the sky? Coming online now. Scanning. No traffic on the railing. Use it. <laughs> What's the matter, sissy? No to run. Hall's blocked off. No way out. You've got her, Johnny. Why can't I catch her? I've got the badge! It's shiny and powerful and shiny and... Why can't I catch her? Don't take it so hard. There's a reason every other hall monitor couldn't catch her either. She's just too fast. Then I have to be faster. To the lab! I need to borrow something in the form of a super security guard speedster stopping Megabot. Got anything like that? No! Well then, what's that over there? <laughs> It's our non-lethal sentry suit, which the general just rejected for not being explosive enough. But it's perfect. It's big and fast and scary, and will totally stop Sissy. This suit's designed to secure a weapons compound, not help you with Sissy. Fine. Don't help me. It's not like I'm trying to save one of your biggest fans. <laughs> All I 
want is for someone to stop the scary speech to, so I can get to class and study and be as dorky and brainy as Susan and Mary Test. She wants to be like us? Yeah, but since you won't let me use a suit, she's gonna fail out of school and have to live under the bridge with all the other kids you wouldn't help. You, you can, can use it! Yes! But only if you promise not to hit the button marked lethal. That's only for emergencies. Relax. I don't even know what lethal means. He really needs to get to class on time. Huh? Hold it right there, sissy. Oh, come on, Test. Haven't you had enough? This answer your question? Hey, grab me a red gush, would you? You've met your match, sister. There's no escape from whatever sweet weapon this button fires. Gum? What kind of dumb weapon shoots bubble gum? A great one. You're late! Again! Now you really met your match, because I found another button, and it's gonna fire the best weapon ever! <laughs> Stinky sock rockets! Oh, come on! <laughs> no wonder the general didn't buy this suit! It doesn't work! Well, that, and it shoots gum and socks instead of missiles. Maybe I'm just not hitting the right buttons. Johnny, what are you doing? I have to stop her. The badge says so. And they drink tea happily ever... <laughs> Never mind. Gum, socks, and rockets, and still no sissy. Looks like you're out of bad ideas. Wrong. I've got at least one more. Basic test. Even with your suit, you'll never bust me. This badge says you're wrong. Will you please help me to class? That robot scales me. Of course. See what you're doing, Test? You're scaring kids, not helping them. I'm pretty sure I'm helping them. What? Hey! <laughs> Sorry, Speedster, but your luck just ran out. I can't believe it. She totally fell for the little girl bit. Worked on my genius sisters. Why not Sissy? I'm the best hall monitor ever. You are the worst hall monitor ever. But I caught the speedster. And destroyed the school in the process. I quit. From clearing out the halls to cleaning up the halls. Start working, Johnny. Let's go, speedster. Well, at least nobody's ever going to be late again. Johnny. Johnny. Johnny! Got a head of fiery hair and a turbocharged backpack! His genius sisters use him like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. Yeah. The boy's best friend is a talking dog. Three extreme jeans in an air breathing shark. Mega action game control is hating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? and countrymen. Uh, this year's Pork Belly Days Festival is going to be, as the kids say, a double. This year we'll have an exciting event that I know you'll love. A face painting booth. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't finished. Uh, break out your accordions and tap shoes, because we're having the first ever Pork Belly's Got Talent contest. Still lame. Still not finished. The winner gets two sacks of money. Two sacks? Okay, three sacks. Yeah. Now you've got yourself a show. <laughs> that is...
is some serious burpage. Yeah, but burping to the letter D just isn't big enough to win the contest. I need something bigger, better. Better find it fast, because this is what you're up against. <laughs> There's no net. We agreed on the net. No, we agreed on no net. Nets are for wimps. Oh, really? Then what if we fall? Well, we won't fall. Oh. <laughs> we're okay. Well, before they lost confidence, they were actually pretty good. But not as good as this. Oh, come on. Even his abs have abs. <laughs> With this talent thingy. Uh, what exactly is your talent? Well, besides destroying. Uh... Which you're terrible at. I will find a talent, and it will be awesome, and then I will destroy you! These guys are serious. I gotta find an awesome talent. And fast! Yes! Bobo! Bobo? My bestest friend! Before we rescued you, with two older sisters, a work-obsessed mom, and a neat freak dad, I could always turn to Bobo. How are you gonna win with a puppet? A talking puppet? We're gonna win with the most ultimate ventriloquist act ever. Right, Bobo? Right, Johnny? To the love! Hey, Super Sisters! I need something zappy to zap Bobo with to make the killerest ventriloquist act and win the competition! Oh, the reanimation pod is over there, but it's still in the experimental stage and is highly unstable, so... Too much information! <laughs> Bobo is Johnny's bestest friend forever and ever! Bobo's alive! Thanks, guys! Now, let's win us a talent contest! Killer abs. I know, right? Okay, Dookie, just pretend to be the audience. Ah, got it. We love you, Johnny! Loud noise! Loud noise! Prepare to have your mind blown. Watch him weep, Johnny Test! I'm about to juggle ten, that's right, ten anti-gravitation juggling balls. They take a while to come back down. Yeah, while we wait, do you want to see what a real routine looks like? Yeah, whatever. Hey, Bobo, what's three trillion times sixty-four spazillion? Ouch, math makes my head spin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, I understand. It's funny because his head is actually spinning. <laughs> spinning. I mean, I will defeat you, Johnny Test. Get some rest, little guy. We have a big day tomorrow. Thank you for bringing Bobo to life. Bobo owes Johnny. You can pay me back by helping me blow away the competition tomorrow. Okie dokie. We'll blow him away. The judges are gonna love Bobo. I mean, just look at him all curled up in his box with fluffy fur, advanced targeting system, precision lasers, and missile pods? He must have raided the lab last night. Quick, turn him off before... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that coming. Uh, Johnny, look at this. Cool. Bobo learned the letter X. Or more like, he's gonna blow away the competition! Yeah, that's not good. Let's go, dog! Welcome to the Porkbelly's Got Talent Contest! First up, we have Mr. Black and Mr. White and their awesome high wire act without a net! <laughs> Wait, uh, we agreed.
agreed on a net. No, nope, still no net. You see, you never listen to me. I do so listen to you. No, you hear, but you don't listen. Blow, blow, blow you away now. <laughs> don't judge me. It's a big fat zero for me. I give them parts for the unitards. Yeah, the unitards were a nice touch. <laughs> hey, uh, anyone seen a cute, fuzzy toy about yay high and armed to the teeth with advanced weapon systems? Ah! Ling Ling, don't go out there. I've got a killer act. Literally. Oh, you're so afraid of my talent. You're trying to keep me off the stage. Time for Bling Bling to go bye-bye. You mean I'm on? But... I'm not even warped up yet! Another big fat zero for me. But it really stuck the landing. Gotcha! <laughs> Please give a warm round of applause for the Aptacular Guild! <laughs> yes, oh, he's absolutely Aptacular! Why is your cute little fuzzball trying to destroy our cute little fuzzball? Don't ask me. This is all your fault. Our fault? Yeah. You let me put him in that zappy, smoky thingy. Now he's alive and programmed to destroy. Wait, what? When did we do that? When you were oogling Gil's abs on your creepo vision monitors. Oh. Now you got to help me stop Bobo. <laughs> disrupting his destructive program. Yes, we can stun Bobo circuits with a loud sonic blast. Oh, sure. Let's just order a sonic blast from the Sonic Blast Store. Did that roadie just talk? One sonic blast coming right up. Next, we need to secure him before it wears off. Sure, let's just order some rope or a net of some kind. Tell me about it. Fine, you want a net? Here's a net. But you had one all along. Why didn't you just bring it out? Because I wanted to push you to push us to be the best. Oh, you do care. Mind if I borrow that? Now, all we need is a rocket that we can secure Bobo to so we can launch him into space. Behold my talent. I will use this rocket to destroy an asteroid that is about to destroy Earth. Do you have to go? No, just some sort of looming global catastrophe. Probably just another false alarm. Carry on. Quick, tie Bobo to the rocket. Cower before my talent, Johnny. <laughs> Look at all the people. Fire the rocket! Bobo's coming too! <laughs> Johnny's got talent. That's not fair. Not fair, not fair, not fair. Got talent? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny's got talent. And I'll take that to cover your bill for the damage to the stage. I could have built a five-bedroom doghouse with a fire hydrant in every room. Huh? Curse you, Bobo! Yes, and welcome back to Asteroid 32B's Got Talent. And our next act is a real killer, presenting... Bubba! With one step, our brave mayor honors founding father Thaddeus Porkelly with this lovely statue. And what a lovely day it is here in Pork Billy. The sun is shining, birds are singing, flowers are blooming. <laughs> Batter up! Oh, and another epic.
epic battle between two robot-wielding boys threatens to destroy our peaceful Hamlet once again. Yikes! This is the most destruction we've seen since, oh yeah, yesterday. And the day before that. And the day before, oh, you get the idea. Cool, stop them, I ask. Well, that's all for me. I gotta get home for dinner. To be continued? Count on it. You have a good one. Best to the family. Oh, yeah, you too. Huh? A surprise party for me? Awesome! It's not even my birthday. Sorry, son, but this is no surprise party. We need to talk to you. Johnny, your destructive habits are destroying our town. Hmm? Say what? It's not your fault. You're an overly energetic young boy, but we're gonna make it better. What do you mean it's not his fault? He took the Destructobot without asking again. You heard, Dad. I'm overly energetic. Yeah. In the best interest of you, your family, and the city of Pork Belly, we are hereby confiscating all of your destructive toys. Um... Why is Gil here? I got a weird phone call saying he needed my shirt. Gil. Don't change the subject! Now, hand them over, Johnny. Mm. All of them? Mm. <laughs> the bazooka, too? Uh -huh. This thing's got Wi-Fi. We know! We made it! Hey, wait! What about Bling Bling? What if he attacks first? His mother asked us to bring you together before things get worse. Turns out I'm an energetic young boy, too. Dear Mama has confiscated all my weapons as well! Even the bazooka? Even the bazooka! Now, the key to overcoming your destructive tendencies is to turn them into constructive tendencies. But I like things that go crash and boom and kapow. Oh, me too, me too! Well, not anymore. You will have to find calmer, more artistic outlets for your creativity. Calmer? Artistic? Don't you mean boring and lame? There's nothing lame about jamming hot licks on super rad musical instruments. Like the flute! And violin. Lame! Cooking is a great hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Cleaning is a great hobby, too. Knitting? We're not grandmas. Breathe. <laughs> Yoga hurts. I'm dying of boredom. Help! Good news, Johnny. After extensive research, we found the perfect hobby for you. It's constructive, productive, and super mellow. Bulldozer racing? Topiary. Topiwari? Topiary, the ancient art of trimming shrubs into shapes. It began in ancient Rome when you... Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Bushes aren't fun. I'm out of here. Look, Jonathan, we get to be mellow with these. Specially designed to let you trim hedges. And nothing else. I'm in. <laughs> Start with something peaceful, Jenny, like a teacup or a flower. Okay, or how about... Watch it! A swamp monster with claws. Hey, I feel mellower already. Ooh, my turn! <laughs> 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 not bad, but not exciting enough. We gotta make these bigger. And scarier. Bigger and scarier don't sound very mellow to me. Exactly. <laughs> you need hydro hyper fertilizer? What can I say? I'm totally mellow now. And that junk's the key to good topiary. Dearest Susan, if our shrubs go dry, we'll have no choice but to return to our destructive ways. Fine, you can have some, but do not touch the cans of possibly illegal growth hormone right next to it. Wouldn't think of it. That would be unsafe. <laughs> <laughs> and might give someone an unfair advantage in our non-existent topiary competition. It would be like cheating. That's not the way we roll. <laughs> Good thing 
neither of us took the possibly illegal growth hormone. We're just better than that. <laughs> What's that? What? Uh, what's that? What? What, what? Oh, just dump the stuff on already. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any idea what that stuff does? Of course not. I love surprises. It says here that this stuff brings life-giving nutrients to boring plants. Sweet. Mm. Oh, well, this kind of stuff never works anyway. <laughs> You didn't just make a kind of swampy, monstery noise, did you? <laughs> just like that. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> Not awesome. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I still think you're awesome, Mr. Swamp Claw Monster, sir. <laughs> Again, chaos and panic is the new normal here in Pork Belly. I would not call this calming or particularly mellow. No, but it's awesome to watch. Johnny! Johnny, did you unleash these monsters in our city? It's not my fault. I was just enjoying Topiary and then feeling mellow when... Jonathan Test, you must fix this monster mess this instant. Wish I could help you guys out, but you took away all my fun stuff. Anyway, I'm off to finish my needlepoint. I'm making a pillow. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll give you all your destructive toys back. Just save this town! Pillow can wait. Yes! Hmm. The bazooka? Right, the bazooka! <laughs> Ready to do some gardening, Parker? Hey, what's with the eye patch? It's dramatic effect. Although I must confess, it does make it harder to drive. <laughs> Time for some old-fashioned destruction. <laughs> hey, shrubs! Time to make like a tree and leave. <laughs> See that coming? <laughs> no shrub eats me and gets away with it, no matter how awesome it is. I'm thinking we need a better plan. Hmm. Hey, since those shrubs become whatever their shape is, how about we just cut them into boring junk to save the city? Hmm. Works for me. Shall we commence? Ooh, it's topiary time. Just like that, they beautified our park with a flower, a sun, even a pork chop. Pork belly's official cut of meat. Look, another beautiful shrub. A toilet? Really? It's perfect. I don't think anyone's ever been attacked by a toilet. Well, <laughs> funny story. At least Johnny finally put his destructive habits to a constructive use. Constructive use? <laughs> Who uses a topiary toilet? Huh? Greetings. My name is Thaddeus Porkbelly. Is there a place where I might wash my hands? Got a head of fiery hair and a turbocharged backpack. The genius sisters use them like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. Is a talking dog. Three stream jeans in an air breathing shark. Mega action game control skating in the park. A Pharaoh booster bling bling. What do we make of this?
up, Genius Sisters. What awesome experiments are you backfiring today? Eating cereal again, Johnny? Not just cereal. Giant-O's. It gets your day off to a big start. You need to eat a more balanced breakfast. Hey, this is balanced. It has cereal. And marshmallows. We mean a real breakfast. Balanced with plenty of fruits and vegetables. Eh, vegetables are overrated. We have just the thing. Our new lab garden, complete with super soil. This garden enhances anything that's planted and makes it grow giant-sized. Observe. Try some fresh albino asparagus. It's good for you. Yum! Or I can eat the fruits and veggies in Giano's, which are in marshmallow form. He's right. These marshmallow berries are amazing. They almost taste like they're real. Wait a sec. That look means either you've got something incredibly awesome or incredibly painful planned. Nikki, if that garden can make super gross veggie seeds grow, what can it do with Giano's marshmallow berry cookies by cereal? Stop! Johnny, don't you dare put that cereal in our super soil. There's no way to know what happened. Sure there is. This way. <gasps> the soil must have reacted to the cereal's fortified whole grains and also contains fortified beans. That accounts for the accelerated growth. Blah, 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 blah. Science talk for awesome cereal stock! We should climb it and see what sort of cereal adventures await. Dookie. Way ahead of you. Wait for me and my delicious cereal. Fine, go climb up. Yeah, we don't care. Can't hear you. Recklessly climbing a giant cereal stock. <sighs> Feels like we've been climbing for like a hundred hours. I can't feel my paws. <laughs> hey, I thought you didn't care about exploring my cereal stock. We don't. We're doing this for science. Can science spare a couple of seats? <laughs> Reach it to the top. You're on. Just like the back of the box, where you have to follow the trail through the giant's cloud kingdom. And find one of the giant secret treasures inside. There's some marshmallow maze. The berry fields. I want to go to the cookie case. Hmm. The super soil seems to have accurately recreated every aspect of the cereal. Since the cereal came to gigantic life, this box has got to lead us to a gigantic prize, too? Technically, this is all scientifically impossible. Come on, it's a cartoon. Roll with it. Ah. No. Ah. Oh, he's not a grumpy giant. <laughs> Feast thy taste buds on my marshmallowy cookie berry delight. <laughs> Say, Big G, mind if I get your autograph for my box? My pleasure, tiny flaming headed lad. Thanks. So listen, I'd hate to dine and dash, but we're on a treasure hunt after all. <laughs> Last here hunting for my treasure. Yeah, we are. Have any tips? I hear the riddles are. No, 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 Mr. Giant, sir. Johnny didn't mean that. Be my foe, not foe. You're after my treasure, so you better run. Wait, seriously? You were so nice one second ago. That was before you plotted to steal at my treasure. Prepare to be squished and made into a part of my new treasure's breakfast. So you are a grumpy giant. You think? Run! Ah! 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 They'll never find their way out of my marshmallow maze. <laughs> against a marshmallow wall. Wait, this is the marshmallow maze. We just have to make it through here so we can get to the next clue to the giant's treasure. Uh, shouldn't we be getting out of here alive and not worrying about a dumb treasure? First of all, treasure is never dumb. You were saying... Run! in the corner of a marshmallow maze. There's no way out. Unless you have two flamethrower pens and roast your way out. Hey, can I get one of those 
those pens when we get back? Stop talking and start hiding in the very, very field. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with him? <laughs> If we seek the giant's treasure, this you must do. How Barry the Blueberry find his lost shoe. That's not a riddle. That's a chore. <laughs> Hurry! The giant's on his way! <laughs> Dookie, quick! Smell the blueberry's foot so you can track his scent. Ugh, no way am I smelling that blueberry's feet. There's no telling where he's been. <laughs> he's been in a delicious cloud world. Now snap, dog! <laughs> Delicious. This way. <gasps> there it is. Oh, I'm good. Thank you, travelers. The treasure you seek is in the cookie caves. How do we miss that? Treasure must be behind that door. Oh, treasure. Come to Johnny. <laughs> uh -oh. It's locked. What a rip. Uh -huh. Call you. I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Dude, lame. Let's go! <laughs> Guys, we can't ditch him. Look, he may have been trying to stomp us with his giant feet, but he's the mascot of my favorite cereal. And I know down deep, he has a big heart. And it's made of marshmallows. Oh, all right. Time to roast some cookies. Oh, I'm free! Oh, thanks, guys. I could have been stuck there B five O ever. No problem. We couldn't have left you like that, big guy. <laughs> thanks. No. Hey, we just saved your life. You ruined my marshmallow maze. Look, the giant's fist cracked open the treasure door. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Hey, Mr. Giant! Over here! It's open! Let's go! There it is! The giant's treasure is... A Choco Chopper! Okay, that was convenient. Again, it's a cartoon. Go with it! b 5 o bum I'm tired of rhyming and I'm just gonna destroy you now! Somebody fly this cereal prize! <laughs> We all know how this story ends. How? We chop down the cereal stock with a Choco Chopper, and the giant falls to his marshmallow defeat. You fee-fi cloud wreckers will be squashed under my bow bum! He has us blocked off from our weapons. What are we gonna do? Some feels good. I no longer have the urge to squish you, tiny whelp. <laughs> I want to hug you. Yeah, I'm still kind of squishing us. 
The reason for his grumpiness must have been because he had sugar rage from only eating cereal. Huh. I guess it is important to have a balanced breakfast. Oh, I'm pleased thou hast shown me the importance of eating healthy. And Dookie is glad thou didn't squish her. <laughs> <laughs> My good man, what business must we attend to this fine day? Ahem. Let's see. We have video games at 11, reservations at the kitchen for grilled cheese at 12.30, and... Oh, we've managed to squeeze in some bike riding this afternoon. Mm, we have a very full schedule. Well, let's get to it. Are you going to answer the door? These aliens are going to disintegrate themselves. We have a very full schedule. Weird. You lose your bling, bling, bling? I'm... I'm broken! What'd you do? I don't know. There was a giant robot, a disgruntled badger. Anyway, a lot of Mother's expensive things got badgerized. Now she's trying to teach me about something called the value of a dollar by taking away all my money for an entire week! So bling, bling is broke, broke? She's making me live the next week as... as a regular <laughs> now that I'm regular, I can't pay people to think and do everything for me. And I'm going out of my mind! You're the only regular kid I know, Tess. Show me how to survive! I don't know. Maybe if you bribe me, but you don't have any money. I'm desperate! Okay, how about you let me stay and, uh... Oh, I'll promise not to bother Susan for one month! Why would I care? Yeah. <laughs> You have to help him. Eugene leaving Susan alone would be a dream come true. All right. Invisible sisters. Yeah. Last week he sent me chocolates, but Eugene was the filling. Yeah. And if you do it, we'll give you 20 Susan and Mary bucks. You can spend them on access to the lab, experimental equipment, or general sisterly favors. Hmm. How about I pay you 20 Susan and Mary bucks for me to not spend the day with Bling Bling? <laughs> ah! I'm taking that as a no. <sighs> Okay, let's do regular kid stuff. Oh, goody, 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 goody! <laughs> Why is your regular TV so small? It's tiny and it hurts my eyes. Oh, pushing buttons is hard. This regular controller cramps my hands. Where's your cranial input controllers with head tracking and scalp massage? What kind of cheese is this? Uh, the grilled kind? I need artisan tilaggio and cuillere. Yeah. These bubbles are so coarse. I only drink red gush platinum. It's super refined, super expensive, like moi. Mm. Oh, I have to pedal myself? Don't you have some kind of robot or butler or robot butler to pedal for you? <laughs> Ugh, I knew being a regular kid would be bad, but it's much worse than I imagined. Goodbye, Jonathan, and good luck with all this. Breathe, uh... breathe. It's okay. The day is over. Bling Bling is gone, and we never have to see him again. You're back. Why are you back? Hello, Jonathan. I'm bored again, and I demand that you play with me. What? You hated everything we did yesterday. Yeah, well, it turns out I hate being bored more. Now, are you going to play with me? Or perhaps your sister Susan is around. <laughs> Ow! Uh, I haven't seen her. <laughs> this controller's broken. <laughs> Which is broken. <laughs> this bike is not to my liking. Good day. 
You should tell them normal kids don't have phasers. Yeah, do you want to tell them that? Me again, still four. I know you're in here. Can't take it. Johnny, freaking out. This is not funny. No, it's funny. Stop doing that. <laughs> I gotta say, it's pretty great watching you, Dean, bother somebody else for a change. Need I remind you, Invisible Sister, I am doing this for you? Hey, we gave you Susan and Mary Box. And those don't grow on trees. Yeah, we print them off the computer. It's very boring out here. Yeah. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. You think you can take over for a while? Nope, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> on the bright side. It has been exactly one week, which means Bling Bling won't be grounded tomorrow and he'll quit coming over. You did it! You're right! I did it! I did it! I can't believe it! Why are you here? Playdate! But you're rich again! Oh, Jonathan, don't you know that life isn't all about money? It's about good times with good friends! Now, carry me to the kitchen and make me lunch. I don't think he's gonna leave you alone. Ever! Hmm. He's gonna have to leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Mastering the art of clog dancing on me. You are present! And you are the best! Thank you! Come on, huh? No, oh, I can't play because I'm grounded. Man. <gasps> My condolences for I too know the bitter punishment that is grounding. Stay strong, Jonathan. I'll see you on the other side. And that is how it's done. You are playing with fire, my friend. I'm not playing with anything, because I'm grounded. Oh, everything's back to normal. Who knew being grounded could be so relaxed? <laughs> Don't worry, Jonathan. I'm saving you from your grounding. Um, thanks? I'm taking you back to my island, where we'll be free to have play dates forever. Return my ride. This is nice. You, me, bling bling, a terrifying robot monster. Why don't we do this more often? <sighs> Riding bikes is so much easier when you have an expensive robot to pedal for you. Isn't this fun? Fun! Are you starting to understand what Eugene puts me through all the time? Susan, where are you? We're on bling bling Bob's shoulder. Get us out of here! Do we have to do everything for you too? That would be great, actually. <laughs> kid stuff, but all day, every day is just too much. Also, you're kind of not very nice. Yeah, I suppose chasing out a giant mechanical likeness of myself would qualify as not very nice. Say, where'd you come from? 
Never mind. Well, no matter. Riding around in that expensive robot reminded me how much fun it is to be rich. So I'm going back to doing what I love most. Sweeping my sweet Susan cake off her feet with my jetpack. Say what? Wait. You said you'd leave her alone. Oh, yeah. See, I kind of lie sometimes. See ya! Oh, Susan Tess! How oh, I love thee! Yeah, very quick! Harvest the flash yeah! Okay, now things are back to normal. <laughs> Charge back back. His genius sisters use him like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. One of the boys' best friend is a talking dog. Three extreme jeans in an everything shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny climbs to the top of the turnbuckle, and he drops the boom on the Dog of Doom. My name is Doom Dog, not the Dog of Doom. <laughs> oh no, I smell cleaning day. It's cleaning day! Dad, listen, I'm really looking forward to cleaning day and... Do that. The power of cleaning, son. And now it's your turn to use the power on the entire downstairs. <laughs> downstairs? But I'll be so bored. No, because I'm going to let you in on a family secret. The cleaning song. The cleaning song? Dad, whatever crazy song you whipped up in your head, it will not help me clean. With a swish swish here and a scrub scrub there, it's time to clean up everywhere. So say goodbye to filth and grime. I'll clean this mess in double time. Well, it used to be a chore, but it isn't anymore. When you got the secret to a super clean floor, now the dirt's all gone and it didn't take long. When you sing along to the clean up song, when you sing along to the clean up song. Great job, son. And now that the house is clean, I'm gonna prepare a cleaning day feast. <laughs> well, say all you want, but you gotta admit, the song was catchy. And now it's stuck, stuck, stuck in my head, head, head. <laughs> okay, calm down, down, down. It'll wear off. And it's my dog I grab and I take to the light. No, oh, help me! Johnny, it's cleaning day, and we promised Dad that we'd clean and not experiment if he promised not to sing us some cleanup song. Ah! He sang the song to Johnny. It's bad, but catchy. Dad will never, never know if you make the song go away from my brain. I'm going insane. Okay, 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 we'll help, but only because we love you. And it gives us a chance to test our bad memory eradicator, which locates all bad memories in the brain and zaps them out of your head. We hope. <laughs> What if the machine erases too much of his memory? Oh, calm down, Manic Mud. It's not like he's gonna drool or forget how to eat or anything. With a switch, switch, cheer, and it's it's the switch, it's the switch! Johnny, the cleaning song. Can you sing it? Ow! Ah, ah. You erased his brain? There was a malfunction, yes. <gasps> Don't panic. I backed everything.
everything up onto a hard disk. All I have to do is reload Johnny's memories back onto his brain drive and... Why does it say not enough memory? How can there not be enough memory? It's his brain! <laughs> because we accidentally backed up Johnny's brain on the same drive as all our new photos. I'll delete them so we can restore drooling and falling Johnny's memory. <laughs> Wow, the lab looks so clean, which means it's gonna be the best cleaning day feast ever. Mm -hmm. Dinner's in one hour. And make sure you and Johnny are there and that you haven't done any experiments that would upset me. Sure thing, Dad. Yeah. Restore Johnny's brain now. But his memories are mixed up with every picture we've ever taken of Gil. They're all in the same drive. From the first picture we ever took of Gil cleaning his pool to the last photo we took of him cleaning his pool. <sighs> You're saying your pictures of Pretty Boy are more important than Johnny's memories? We're saying we just have to buy some time to delete the not-so-important pictures so we can reload Johnny's memories. Well, what are you gonna do? Train Johnny how to behave at the dinner table so your dad won't notice you erased his brain? And dinner is in one hour! I was joking. They are. Now, Johnny, this is a napkin. And when you eat, you... <laughs> Just erase the gill pictures. Never! Besides, he's a quick learner. Johnny, see how I put water in my mouth? Now you try. <laughs> you know, technically he's right. Every one of these photos is gillicious. Ah, uh, blurry gill. Wait, I'll just delete some of the Johnny memories like I should have in the first place. But what are the bad memories? That's it, little Johnny. Go boom boom. Mm. Boom boom. Potty training. Yeah, I should leave this one. Darn it! Now, during dinner, the neighbor's cat will appear in the window and meow for a morsel. And that's when you always say, Kitty! Kitty! This is never gonna work. No, Dookie's a dog. Kitty will appear in the window. Kitty! No, Johnny, that's a garbage truck. Kitties are fluffy and evil and... Where's Johnny? Honey? Kitty! Kitty! You had to erase his brain! We were trying to help! Now run, dog, run! Great. Now that I've separated Johnny's good memories from bad, I can just delete the bad ones. This won't hurt a bit. Hmm. This won't hurt a bit. Okay, we're not all his bad memories, are we? This won't hurt a... Okay, perhaps we are. And if I erase them, then there'll be plenty of room for the new memories. Darn it, again! <laughs> He's gotta be here somewhere! There's danger everywhere, but no kitty! Kitty! Wow, he's really having a hard time with Kitty. But he's safe and sound. <laughs> he's not safe or sound! Kitty! That's not a kitty! Kitty? Dad is gonna be really mad if we bring a squished Johnny to dinner!
the meatloaf cool and the cleaning day feast begin. Ah, still not enough memory, and it's dinner time. Bye-bye, shirtless field slideshow. My brother's memories are more important. Yes! Now I just have to get John. <gasps> That was convenient. Quick, get him on the memory eraser. Hurry, hurry! What? How is the file too big again? Because Johnny just got new memories of dump trucks, dumpsters, and what he thinks are kitties. Dinner time! The hard drive is still too big for his brain. Just delete a file, any file. We'll train him later. Which means it's cleaning day festival feast time! Now, let's all dig in and enjoy a nice dinner as a family. You erased Johnny's brain, didn't you? Not all of it. <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> See? Wanted to be a monkey sitter? Orangutan sitter. He is not a monkey. Whatever. I'll be great. Aren't I great at everything? Most people would say yes. Please. Last time we let you keep an eye on something, we never saw our whoosh ray again. Hmm. Okay, me next, me next. Refreshing and undressing at the same time? We are never giving this whoosh ray back. I see Ingrid, I see Fritz, I see Johnny's underpants. <laughs> <laughs> My finger slipped. Yeah, I don't know what happened to that whoosh ray, but must have just, you know, I mean... Right. We don't have a choice. We're gonna have to leave him with Johnny. We have to go to the Institute to present our observations on orangutan. The Professor Slopsink will be here today at 5 p.m. to see Clyde for himself. So until then, keep him out of trouble. Don't forget that. Five o'clock. Oh, yeah, and whatever you do... Do not let Clyde watch TV! And now, back to Booger Battle! Should I ask? His name is Clyde. <laughs> and I'm babysitting him. Looks like you're watching TV. Well, just like all good babysitters, we're becoming friends through the power of watching television. Works for me. We've been in cheese it before a knickerbockers fought the twist, see? Uh, should you be letting Clyde watch this? Yep. <laughs> Wow, he really likes this show. Bank robbers, car chases, bags with dollar signs on them. Who wouldn't? Clyde isn't watching TV the best. <laughs> Monkey friend watching TV. Monkey friend hanging out with me. Technically, he's an orangutan. Whatever. We interrupt this program for an urgent news bulletin. This morning, Pork Belly's only chimney sweep officially left town, too. I'm sorry. To join an all chimney sweep singing and dancing troupe. This is breaking news. Arr, dancing on the rooftops, we give each other mad drops. Sweep, 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 sweep! So dirty. How will Santa Claus bring us presents? Hey, where'd our monkey buddy go? Orangutan. And why is the front door smashed through in the shape of Clyde? Dookie, we have a problem. I hate to break it to you, pal, but you're not winning any awards for best orangutan sitter. Dookie, is today National Howl Like a Monkey Day? As a matter of fact, it's not. Then that must be Clyde. Come on! Ew. 
Clyde, we gotta get you home before the girls show up with that science dude. Here, at least put this on. <laughs> oh, I get it. He wants to open a low-yield savings account to plan for his future. How responsible. <laughs> Susan and Mary's whoosh ray. Did you take that from my secret hiding spot under my bed? I, I mean, from the girls' lab? <laughs> Oh, I was wrong. He wanted to rob a bank like in those gangster movies we watched. Rob a bank like in those gangster movies we watched? Hey, you think he'll split the money with us? We're not splitting anything. Clyde's going to jail. Yeah, Susan and Mary won't be cool with that. Officer, you're just in time. Uh, we're not with him. Nope. <laughs> Don't even know the guy. You're uh, under arrest. This is all a misunderstanding. <laughs> Clyde, you are a bad monkey. Rank attack. Whatever. In pursuit of bank robbers, suspects are two hairy males and a flame-headed boy. You are the worst orang attack center ever! Either we're really fast, or that car is really slow! I never should have let him watch TV. Susan and Mary are gonna kill me. Dookie, what do we do? We have to turn him in. You're his accomplice now. Me? We're in this together, buddy. Yeah, the thing is, I'm just an innocent dog. <laughs> Woof. Oh, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Would you look at that? He's grooming you. How hygienic. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Clyde. Unless someone just gives us a getaway car, we're gonna spend the next 100 years in prison. <laughs> Is this the Palace Hotel? Park it somewhere shady, Valet. No, I am not driving a getaway car. Oh, I knew you shouldn't have let Clyde watch TV. Hey, monkey friend, looking sharp. Uh, that's orangutan friend. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the old guy suit? Should I drive us to jail just to get this over with? I know this looks bad, but I got a plan. You do? Well, no. Sarge, I'm naked. Can I go home? Clyde, as your babysitter, I should tell you, no naked blasting the police. Johnny, we have to turn him over to the police. Clyde is my monkey friend, and friends don't let friends go to prison. <laughs> Besides, the girls will kill me if he's not home by five. Now drive, dog! I think he has to use the bathroom. Okay, pull over. He can use the bathroom up there at that bank. Now, Clyde, promise you won't rob it. I'm serious. Promise most sacred monkey promise. Swear on a million bananas. Well, I guess if he swears on a million bananas. <laughs> Hypothesis. Your research with Clyde is very intriguing. Conclusion, if everything goes smoothly, you could be looking at ten Nobel Prizes. Yes! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Alternate conclusion. If something went wrong, you'd never touch a lab in this town again. Stop at the mall for ice cream. Hey, Clyde and I deserve a last meal before we get carted away forever. <laughs> All right, come out with your hands up. There's no way out of this, Johnny. Clyde's running around with stolen money. A crime's a crime. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Where'd you get that from? A book of crime sayings or something? Uh, it, no. Hey, where'd Clyde go now? Huh? There he is. Oh, no. If he imitates more bad TV shows, there's no telling what he'll do. Clyde! Where'd he go? He was right here. Clyde! 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 <laughs> We have to shut down the TVs or he's gonna keep changing. Hey, he's not so bad. <laughs> Susan and Mary want us to bring Clyde home now. 
I had one job, and I blew it. If only we could do it all over again and not let Clyde watch that stupid gangster movie. Too bad we can't rewind real life. Yeah, too bad you can't... Aha! Donkey, you're a genius! I am. <laughs> Stop imitating what you see on TV. Okay, seriously! We're coming in right now! We mean it! Johnny! Gotcha! Hey, Clyde, look at this. We've been a cheese it before a nigger focus. Now look at this. <laughs> What's Clyde doing now? If watching a movie forward made him rob a bank, maybe watching it backwards will make him unrob it? This better work. <laughs> <laughs> I like that shirt. <laughs> Yay! That monkey returned all the money! And... Yay! All right, boys. I guess we can go home. Johnny! I can't believe you let Clyde watch TV! Yeah, I'm sorry. I should have listened and been a better monkey sitter. No! You proved our theory. Monkey see, monkey do. Don't you mean orangutan see, orangutan do? Correct. 100 Nobel Prizes for everyone. Clyde, I'm Rob the Bank. We were involved in a high-speed backwards chase, and my sisters are mad at me. Everything did work out great. Not everything. Porkbelly still lost its best chimney sweep. Wait, wasn't that a movie? Yep, I got it right here. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Chimney sweep. <laughs> he is enthusiastic. Seven. The only video game better than Cartwheelie 6. But now, we race it for real. Race this. Voila! An exact replica of the Cartwheelie 7 greatest racer in the history of the Racing Racers Cup. That's the worst trophy ever. And it will be mine. Drivers, take your car. <laughs> Ready, set, wait! We want to race too! <laughs> Hey, what's with weird cards? We're racing super awesome video game cards with super cool buttony stuff. Ooh, count me in. Hey, I like super awesome video game cards with super cool buttony stuff. I did. Thanks to your parents' tax dollars, the military programmers uh, programified a real-life Cartwheelie 7 track right through that interdimensional portal. 
first one out of the portal and across the finish line at Area 51.1 wins. Now, we just need someone to wave a green flag to start the race. Uh, anyone have a green flag? Uh, no. Uh-uh, not here. Hey, Gil, do you have a green flag? No, but it's a great opportunity to rip off my green shirt. <laughs> Works for me. Go! <laughs> <laughs> Must be dreaming. Here, put this on, Dream Boy. Johnny, watch out! It's a dancing disco ball. Don't worry, dog. <laughs> now we're trapped in a disco inferno. <laughs> but you gotta admit, this is fun. You know what else is fun? Winning! <laughs> Do you know what else, uh... What, Albert? You are going to hit a whopper, sir. What's a whopper? <laughs> oh! That's a whopper! Now I'm out of the race! Uh, hardly, sir. You just need a powered-up pumpkin to fix the cart like new. Since when are you an expert? Since I hold the online record in Cartwheelie 7, sir. You win! Huzzah. But now I shall find your pumpkin. Well, make it snappy, Albert. The car's got a real flat. Yeah. <laughs> This flopper's taking forever. Uh, yeah, the programmer said that there were a few bugs in the system. <laughs> Looks like we found another bug. One with a driver's license. That's Scurvy. He's a nice bug who brings double scoop power-ups. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Nice bug. Now we're stuck inside a giant waffle cup. Ooh, I'm going to win. And when I do, Susan will fall in love with me. No, you're not. And no, she won't. Hey! What are you doing? Taking the lead. But if we're way up here, we can't stare at you way back there. Ooh, good point. Let's get back up. Use the brakes, you know. The two best racers are in the lead. High five! Once we win that trophy cup, we're gonna drink fresh orange juice out of it. I thought we agreed on apple. Orange, apple, orange, apple, orange, apple. apple. How about a Sony Pop instead? <laughs> Why is everything getting larger? It's because we're getting smaller. And drinking soda allows me to take the lead. Ta -ta! Oh. <laughs> this is one delicious prison, but it'll take all day to eat our way out. <clears throat> Your pumpkin, sir. Thanks, Albert. <laughs> the card's fixed, but I'm still trapped. You could try lifting the cone, sir. I can't lift something that heavy. You can't. <laughs> but my giant clown hand can. I'm beginning to doubt the usefulness of giant clown hands. Come on, dog. We got a race to win. I smell tanning lotion, but I don't see Gil. He's up ahead. Go, go, go! We need to go faster. Drive over that turbo ramp. Dreamy with the wind blowing through his hair. <gasps> and his shirt off. You know who else looks dreamy without his shirt on? What? Yes. Yeah. La -da -dee, la -da -da. Ah! My eyes! I'm blind! Hey! I have feelings, you know! Yeah, you're right. That was obnoxious of us. Oh! And so is this! <laughs> 
girls I've never met before. My name's Gil. Crazy dream, huh? Too bad we won't be together when we wake up. Then I guess we'll have to stay here forever. <laughs> Bummers, right? We're in last place! Yeah! Make that second to last now! Still, we'll never win! Sure we will! Grab those wings! Yes. Got him! Now what? I drive off that cliff! Ooh, that sounds like fun! Wait, you what? <laughs> wings! Activate! <laughs> <sighs> Try again. <laughs> Now to boot you back to where you came from. All right, we're in the lead. Yeah! Two gates, but which to choose? I'm guessing that lever opens them. But left or right? Let's push it to the right. Can't go wrong going right, right? The portal will close in 30 seconds. Anyone inside will be trapped for all of eternity. Thank you. Then put the pedal to the metal and get us out of here! Here's the finish line! We're gonna win! We're stopping. Why are we stopping? What, do you want to make it seem more dramatic for the racing audience? If we leave, we'll win! But everyone else will be trapped here forever! The portal's closing and we can't stop it! We just need a helping hand! Hey, for once it works! But it won't hold forever! Gotta hurry! Ah! I'm trying to save everyone. Funny way of showing it. Wait, where's my sisters? They'll be trapped here forever. Got them, Jonathan. You don't think I'd leave my beloved Susan behind? Uh oh, cloud hands down. Portal's closing again. Let's move. But the carts are wrecked. What are we gonna do? Power up, I'm killing anyone. <laughs> Let's zoom zoom out of here! We're never gonna fit through! We're too big! Anyone have a shrinking soda safe? Sure, you can have mine, bra! <laughs> <laughs> decided to save everyone, including you. Oh, okay, fine. Then I'm the world's second greatest racer in the history of the world's racing racers. This is the craziest race mare ever. <laughs> you know you're gonna have to wipe his memory of this, right? We know. and it'll be three days without a single catastrophe? Three days without a single seismic explosion, chemical reaction, or glass of spilt milk? I can't stand spilt milk. Did you know you haven't crashed or smashed anything in three days? What can I say? I'm off my game. Oh, how I've dreamed of this day. Mom, Dad! No, 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 no! no. Watch this! We were so close! What the? That's it? A bird collar? <laughs> it's not a bird collar. It's a vocal intonator replicator. By modulating audio frequencies of the various species, it alters your voice so that it speaks their language. Or in this case, chirps. Hmm. Bird, squirrel, emu, dog! <laughs> woof, woof. Hey! 
he understood what I said. Yeah, he's good like that. We made it! Three days! A new test family record! <laughs> And to show how much we appreciate you girls working on quiet, constructive inventions. And Johnny for uh, not being so Johnny lately. We're going to take you out tonight any place you want. <laughs> so figure out where you want to go. It's your vote. Vote. Sir Lancelox, the largest selection of pizza and lasers in the tri-state area. Here we come. We dream on. We're doomed to a dinner of boredom with a side of bleh. Ooh, but they said you can go anywhere you want. No, 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 no. They said we get to vote. And whenever we vote, Susan and Mary win. One vote to see Roboticeratops versus Octopillar. Awesome! And two votes for Girly Kissy Kiss the Musical. That's one vote to vacation aboard Scurvy's sunken submarine, and two votes for the real quiet reading ranch. No! One to ride the Uber Ultra Space Coaster, two for the Tunnel of Math. No! What are you complaining about? I don't even get a vote. Look, why don't you just tell Susan and Mary they owe you one? They'll never listen to me, but maybe they'll listen to each other. I don't think I like where this is going. This is going to Sir Lancelux. Listen and learn, dog. Wow, Mary, the vocal intonator replicator is one of the best inventions you and Susan ever made. Thanks, Johnny. That's really kind of you to give poor little Susan some of the credit. She tries so hard. Oh, that two-faced. You mean it wasn't a team effort? Susan did about as much work on it as she does on everything else, which is nothing. Oh, and remember our secret. Tonight, I'll vote to go any place you want. As long as it isn't Sir Lancelot's Pizza Arcade. Ugh, more like Lancelot Yuck. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm smarter than Mary, but I think you know. Hmm. And don't forget, whatever you do, don't vote to go to Sir Lancelot's Pizza Arcade. You know I can't stand that place. So. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really surprised the girls insisted on coming here. Hmm. <laughs> I am loving Sir Lance a lot. But Johnny, you shouldn't have lied. Why? No, lying is bad. I manipulated, not as bad. Besides, they shouldn't invent something they don't want me to use. Nothing good ever comes out of lying or manipulating or anything that's not completely truthful. Right. <laughs> Dog. Huh. You hear that? The sweet sound of nothing exploding? Yep. <laughs> kind of quiet in there. Too quiet. Maybe they need the master manipulator to liven things up. Hi, Johnny! <laughs> Keep it to your side of the force field. You couldn't drag me to your side with a fission-powered pork claw. Like you could tell your fission from your muon catalyzed fusion. <laughs> So on now. Okay, that's not good. Time to come clean, Master Manipulator. No way. Now there's two labs. Two labs means twice the amount of cool sciencey stuff. It's a self-contained 3D gaming chair with a motion simulator and hydro-cooling drink dispenser. You made this in less than a day? Less than five minutes. I wasn't being held back by what's your name? What'll it be? Space battle? Aerial dog fight? Mutant melee? Surprise me. Oopsie, forgot to carry the six. Well, that's a surprise. Oh, just in time to test my new hover shoes. Whoa, you made those quickly. She who shall not be named wasn't here to slow me down. We'll start by gently hovering 3.2 meters off the floor. <laughs> Oopsie, forgot to carry the seven. Oh, without each other, Susan and Mary's inventions hurt. Still think manipulating isn't as bad as lying. Hey, Johnny, I just built an underground drill that can withstand molten lava. Let's get out of here. Uh, why should I run? If she can't test that lava death drill on me, she's gonna test it on you. <laughs> Piranha-proof diet.
diving suit. I've got to get them back together. Hey, you know who's really good at figuring things out? Mary! Sorry, don't know anyone by that name. You know who would love to help you with this? Susan. Why would I need her? Just a suggestion. You know, I think Mary would like... I'll bet Susan could... I can't get them together. Only one thing to do. Do the easy thing? Stop and say you're sorry? No, I'm gonna hide. And that was my second guess. Well, this is a pain in the butt. What? That we're hiding in my cramped, dirty, underwear-infested closet for the next 20 years? Well, there's that. And there's something causing an actual pain in my butt. <sighs> and this is a pain in both our butts. But what giveth pain can also taketh pain away. Right, because telling the truth if is so time-consuming. It's showtime. need each other. You need to say you're sorry. If only... <sighs> if only I could! But I'm not brave like you, Johnny! Oh, brother. Well, like Dad says, it's always the right time to say you're sorry. Oh, this is sorry. Mary, what's wrong? It's just not the same without Susan. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, Johnny. You're the best brother a girl could ever dream of. And the worst actor ever. Hmm. If you could, give her a message from me and tell her. Man, you stink at this. Hey, you stink! Oops. <gasps> I'll show you who stinks! Take that, you scientific star! <laughs> what? Why, I should have finished this long ago. Put him up! Ugh. That's okay, Johnny. You don't have to defend her. <laughs> Johnny wants nothing to do with you. <laughs> let go of Johnny. As you let go, intellectual imposter. <gasps> My IQ is higher than you can even count. You wouldn't know string theory from string beans. <laughs> Susan, Mary, stop fighting and let Johnny down this instant. Yes, Dad. <laughs> I think he just said meatloaf's ready. Let's go to dinner, dog. What are you hiding? Your vocal intonator replicator? <gasps> it's been him the whole time. So, we're not mad at each other. We're mad at him. <laughs> we could just forget all this. No! Let him have it! Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah sure. I kind of sort of maybe lied to rig the boat, but you're as much to blame as me. What? Uh, the vote? It's never fair. Every time we vote, it's always two against one and I lose. Huh, he's right. 1,246 votes and Johnny's never won. But I only count 982 votes. <laughs> Forgot to carry the two. Thanks. Sorry, Johnny. We didn't realize. Why didn't you just say something? No one told me that was an option. <sighs> From now on, we promise to make family votes fairer. So you're not mad at me? <laughs> one more minute. <laughs> So close.